I've started to build up a collection of auto hotkey scripts. And one of my new frustrations is that I have to go and open all of these scripts every time I restart my computer. <laughs> I've kind of solved this problem by just not restarting my computer. But I was thinking maybe there's a way that I can solve this problem by just having Windows start up my scripts whenever I reboot the computer. And it turns out there's a way to do that. It's actually not too complicated. So the first thing we're going to need to do is go to our search bar and type in run. You get this little box here. And Windows has this nice little shortcut to this folder. It's called shell colon startup. So once you hit OK, uh, a folder called startup is going to pop up. Everything that's inside of the startup folder is going to be executed whenever Windows reboots. That's all this folder does. You can see I've already got two programs here, which I've made shortcuts to. That's the other important thing. You don't want to put your raw files in here and kind of work in here. You want everything to be shortcuts into this folder. So we can go ahead and do that very easily. First, I'm going to make a new auto hotkey script, and I'm going to call it startup. Now you'll see why I'm going to do this in a second. Next, I'm going to right click on it and then create shortcut. So now we'll have this shortcut file and then I'm going to drag that into our startup. I'm going to rename it. Of course, this is an empty file, but what we're going to do is when we edit it, we're actually going to launch our other scripts from this file. Let me make it a little bigger. Say I wanted to run my desktop icons toggle script whenever I uh, restarted the computer. So all I would have to do is use the run command from AutoHotKey. So run desktop icons toggle.ahk. Keep in mind this set working directory line as well, because what it's going to do is take the current directory, which is your folder here, and then make sure that that is the directory for file lookup. So without it, it would look in that startup folder, and we don't want that. We want it to be looking in the same folder as the startup file. So let's also do one in a folder. So I, I really like to have my spam click uh, script running. Let's go ahead and run that one as well. So run spam click. And remember your forward slash for Windows files. Uh, it's also called spam click.ehk. And then now this is how you launch a script from a folder. This is really all a startup file needs to do because in your other scripts, you can have your actual functions, and this is just a way to automatically launch them. <laughs> so I guess I have to shut down everything and make sure this works. See, after I restart my computer. Well, there you can see my spam click and my desktop icons toggle scripts were loaded whenever I restarted the computer. Looks like this works great. Remember, if you want to later change which scripts are running, all you have to do is edit that startup AHK file. I know this is a short video, but I wanted to get right to the point. This really isn't that hard. If you like this video and want to see more automation scripts and tutorials, check out my other videos. See ya.